Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog and I am feeling very excited today because I have a trip coming up that I was not planning, I did not know that this was going to be happening, it's very unexpected and also very very exciting so I'm going to be letting you know all about that in this vlog. Now this week I have to get myself prepared for going away, I'm going to be doing some packing and choosing of outfits and stuff, I thought you guys might like to see that. I'm not going to do a packing video over on my other channel this time because I did that fairly recently so I thought we would do the packing today in this vlog and I can't wait to let you know what that trip is all about and I also want to say thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be cooking a HelloFresh meal for myself and Kate tonight and it's weeks like this when I suddenly have a lot to get done and I'm very busy when I didn't expect to be but I'm really thankful for my HelloFresh box because everything is just easy and sorted and sent to me exactly what I want. I don't have to think about anything, I don't have to plan anything, it's just already done for me and I have another great offer for you guys from HelloFresh as well so keep watching and I will let you know more about that in a bit but I'm going to go and grab my notebook now and start making some lists. I need to make some lists of what I need to do and what I need to pack for this trip and I am very very excited about it. And I just wanted to show you, speaking of trip excitement, this is the suitcase I'm going to be taking on this trip. I absolutely love this suitcase from iFly. It was very kindly gifted to me. And I always have the problem when I go to Florida. It's not really big enough for a two-week trip or even really 10 days. It's more the kind of suitcase that is good for a week. And this time, because I'm going for a week, I'm going to be able to take this. I love it so much. I just love the ombre colour and the wheels a matching as well so you've got like the purple there and the pink I just love it it's amazing I will link it below if it's still available okay I'm over at my desk now to make my packing list I've got my Erin Condren notebook my new one and I also just popped online to pause my HelloFresh box for next week because I'm not going to be here and like I mentioned earlier in the video HelloFresh have very kindly sponsored this video I am a regular customer I use them all the time and one of the great things for me with traveling so much is the fact that you can skip a box if you need to if you're going away on a holiday if you've got something else happening that week I just love how convenient HelloFresh is. When the box turns up, everything is already packaged into the individual bags and you have the fresh items. I just pop those into each individual bag, then put everything in the fridge. And on the recipe cards, it will tell you exactly which ingredients go into which bag. You can see on the front of the card and on the back are all of your instructions. So even if you're not very experienced with cooking or it's not your favorite thing to do, those step-by-step -step instructions are great. Everything I've had from there has always come out really well. I'm not the best of cooks by any means, but I find it really, really easy to follow the instructions on there. There's lots of different options as well. You can opt for rapid recipes. I love those. They're normally 20 minutes, super, super quick. They have veggie options, which is great for me. And they do have over 44 recipes every week. That's the thing I think I really like the most about it for me is the fact that I try different things. I'm someone who can be very routine with eating, especially if it's stuff that I am cooking and I just tend to eat the same things. But since I've been using HelloFresh, I've tried lots of different things that I perhaps wouldn't have tried before. A lot of the time it's stuff that I know I'm going to like, but there's just little differences, different vegetables that I wouldn't normally use, different ingredients. Everything is measured out and they send you the exact right amount. So there's no waste. I really like that as well. As you guys know, I've been trying to be more sustainable recently and I love that there is no food waste with HelloFresh. And because there isn't any waste, it's also great value for money. You can obviously choose how many people the recipes are for. You can do all of that in the app or you can just go online, whatever you find easier. You can choose your recipes, you can skip a week if you need to. Everything that you need to do is very, very easy. And HelloFresh have given me a great offer for you guys if you'd like to try it. You can click the link in the description of this video or use my exclusive code DETAIL60 or there's a QR code here that you can scan as well. And that will get you 60% off your first box. You then get 25% off for two months plus free gifts if you use my exclusive code. It's a really great offer if you guys would like to try this out for yourself so be sure to do that if you haven't already. I'll be cooking one of the meals like I said later on for myself and Kate so I will show you that when I'm cooking the meal later. And now I'm going to get on to this packing list. I didn't always used to make them. I used to a long time ago then I kind of stopped for ages but I have been finding the last few trips there will be something that I've forgotten almost every time or more than one thing so this time I've decided let's go back to a proper packing list so I'm going to sit here and do this now. Actually I suppose before I make my packing list I should tell you guys where I'm going. So like I said it's 
this very, very exciting, unexpected trip. I had an email come through the other day and I have been invited on a PR trip to Florida with the Disney team. I honestly can't believe it. I just feel so excited and grateful and lucky to be offered these opportunities. It's just amazing. It's the same team that I went to California with and Disneyland Paris. And now they have invited me to come along to Florida for five nights, I think we're going. And they are gonna be showing us everything that is new at Walt Disney World. So we're gonna be experiencing some amazing things like new restaurants or restaurants I haven't done for a very long time. We're gonna be going to Typhoon Lagoon. That's something that I've never covered in the vlogs before, all kinds of things. And it is a hosted trip. So they basically organize everything and I just get to go along and just have amazing experiences. I go to Florida all the time, as you guys know, and I do my own trips on my own kind of schedule and do whatever I'm doing, but getting to go on a trip like this where so many amazing things have been organized for us, I just feel honestly blown away. I just feel so, so lucky. And when I got the email, I just couldn't believe it. We're gonna be staying at the Boardwalk, which is one of my favorite resorts. Um, I get to bring a guest and Lisa is coming along on the trip. She is so excited. <laughs> she is honestly just beside herself. She's so excited. So yeah, that's where I'm going. And it's next week. So I thought my long haul travel was done for the summer and I wouldn't be going back again until September, but now I'm going again. It is gonna be hot though. So if you remember, I did um, a trip in June last year and I don't normally go in June and it was very hot then. So I need to fully prepare myself for how hot it's gonna be. I need to pick my outfits accordingly. So like I said, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the different outfits I'm thinking of taking, whittling it down because I don't need too many because it is a slightly shorter trip. So yeah very very excited and like i say very grateful to be offered these incredible opportunities i really do just yeah feel so shocked and excited at the same time okay it's time to make dinner now so i'm just downstairs at getting all of my ingredients ready as you can see the tiling has now been done in the kitchen and the painting and everything behind me yeah here are the tiles so as you can see it is now looking much more finished and the dinner I'm making tonight is double cheese and balsamic onion dauphinoise. I always feel like I say that wrong, dauphinoise potatoes, um, with apple and rocket salad. This looks really delicious. I'm very excited for this. I've not had it before. Like I was saying earlier, trying different things is one of the things I love about HelloFresh. And this is definitely not something that I would have just thought of and made for myself. So really excited to see how this turns out. Okay, my potatoes are cooked and ready to go in. I'm just doing the onions and I'm caramelizing. Not sure I've ever caramelized anything in my life, to be honest. Hopefully this comes out well. I am all done. Let's see how I did. This is the picture and this is the finished product. I think this looks pretty good, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. Smells really nice too. Okay, the proof is in the eating though, not what it looks like. So Kate is going to give us an assessment. Always a bit worried when it's me who's been doing the cooking. Nice? Good, yeah, it's really nice. Yay! Thumbs up. So we're all done with dinner now, and I really love that actually, and Kate obviously gave it a thumbs up as well, so it was really, really nice. And now I am back upstairs to start on this packing and deciding of outfits that I'm gonna take on this trip. And I'm really in two minds, because I only need five like full days of outfits, and then I need like a travel day outfit either side for going and coming back. So I'm just trying to decide first on like the five days. This does look a bit jumbled, but it's making sense to me. The other problem that I have is that some of my ears and accessories and stuff are in the owner's locker, and I'm not sure whether to get the owner's locker to be brought out just for this trip or not. I'm not sure. Here's what I'm thinking so far. So I've got these leopard shorts and I've just got a little t-shirt that has kind of lacy sleeves on it. So I'm thinking maybe that with these ears for Animal Kingdom. I don't normally wear shorts these days, I have to say. I normally wear dresses. So I'm not sure on that one. Then I've got this play suit that my mum made with these ears. I just love these ears. It just matches so perfectly with that. Then I've got my lemon dress with the sparkly red ears. It's just one of my favorites at the moment. And that dress fits really, really well. It's just very comfortable, very kind of light and airy. 
then I've got this dress here from Pour Moi, which I love. I love the fabric and the colours of that. And I'm thinking that with the classic mini ears. And then I definitely think yes to this dress. This is another one from Pour Moi. It's the same style as this one, but just a different fabric. I don't really have any ears that go really well with it. These are the ones I have that go best because they have the orange and they're kind of blue, but I don't love how those go with that. So I may need to figure out a different pair of ears. I think they go well enough, I'm just not 100% sure. You know what I'm like with my matching. I like everything to always be coordinating and matching. And then I've just started to pull together some of my other bits and pieces that I need to bring. So I've got a swimsuit there because we are going to a water park on one of the days to Typhoon Lagoon. Then I've got these are my little um, shorts to wear under my dresses from Snag. They do like little shorts to stop you from getting, you know, chub rub nasty in the Florida heat. Then I've got my fan. Again, it's going to be super hot out there. Umbrella because it is coming into rainy season and you obviously never know in Florida. And then I've got my Havianas here as well. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking so far with the outfits. There's a couple of others that I was toying with. I always find it so hard to decide. I've just pulled out this top as well because I'm thinking with the leopard shorts, this one might actually be better. I got this from Target when I was there with my mum and I feel like this is just a bit more um, sort of floaty. The one with the little lace sleeves is nice, but it's quite tight. One thing I have to be so mindful of with this trip is the heat. It is going to be so much hotter than normal. I do have so many different outfits that I could take. Like I was thinking about this one, which is one of my favourite play suits. And I think I might take this one as like an extra because I may possibly need something. I don't know, like if you get really hot and need to change for the evening or something like that. So I think I will take this. I do have a lot of other options, but I'm just concerned that they would be a little bit too hot because some of the fabrics are a bit thicker they're a little bit better when I do like January November December kind of trips so this time I need to be thinking whatever is the coolest good morning everyone it is a new day and today I'm gonna go off to Costa to do some work I just kind of set up there for a few hours I sometimes I spend quite a few hours there to be honest since I got back from Florida I've mostly in fact I think every day I've worked from home and as I've said in previous vlogs I feel like it's important to have a change of scenery, be somewhere different. I know for most people their workplace is the same place every day but if you don't have colleagues I feel like it's not good to just be kind of in your little space with no other people around so I just like to do that sometimes probably once a week maybe twice but usually just once to uh, yeah, get a bit of a change of scenery for my working. I've got editing to do today. I've got a few emails and stuff to get done. So I've just packed my bag with all of my things I need, my laptop and my planner and all of that kind of thing. On that note, when I get back, I will show you my new Erin Condren planner. My planner runs from July to July. So I don't have the January to December. I have the one that launches at this time of year. So I've just got my new one and I've gone for a different one this time. So I'll show you everything that I got when I get back. So my editing has begun I've already been here a couple of hours but I've just got myself another coffee and I got this which is a red onion and cheese I think it's called a pizzetta or something it's like a flatbread I've had this a couple of times now and it's really really nice it's actually been very busy in here this morning so I've just been headphones in and getting on with it I wanted to show you guys what I got from Erin Condren in the new launch sometimes I do this as a separate video but I thought this time I would just include it within a normal vlog I didn't get that much stuff because I had to bring it back from the states I actually got this shipped to my Disney resorts and obviously you then have to bring it all back and I had two books to bring back which I will show you in a second and this time I decided to go back to the original vertical layout so that's Erin Condren's original planner that they've had for years and years I've tried the others I've had a horizontal last time I had the compact vertical which was the A5 size let me just bring in the old one you can kind of see the difference in size let me just line that up so that's the a5 this one is slightly bigger i did enjoy using the compact vertical and i do like the size of this one that's a bit smaller but when i just looked at the different layouts i do think this one is going to be better for me for the coming year so i decided to go for this and this is the new etta v design that they have this year for the cover and it is absolutely beautiful it has some metallic on it which is a rose gold color and you can have it personalized with your name or whatever you want to have on there and this time i decided to get their new colored coil option i very rarely pay for any of the different coil colors it is ten dollars which i think is a little bit pricey just to get a different colored coil but i could not resist this it goes from green into purple and then into pink these are my favorite kinds of colors it matches perfectly with this cover and I couldn't resist it. So I did go for the colored coil. 
they've done a black one before which they've now discontinued they still have the silver the gold and the rose gold but they've never really had a colored one like this and i absolutely love that i've had one of the etta v design covers before this is actually one of the etta v designs but i think i like this one even better this is absolutely beautiful i love the colors so much this like pink and turquoise it is just my thing 100 percent. so i'm really happy with that let me just briefly show you inside so this year they've changed the cover to have a kind of dashboard look on the inside i think it just used to be one big box but they now have these separate boxes the only thing i wish they would get rid of is this barcode i think this is to do with like the design of it i don't know i just think this looks so horrible there and it ruins it i don't know why that barcode has to be there i'm sure there is a reason let me know in the comments if you know what it is but i just wish they didn't have that there or even if they put it in the back cover i feel like that wouldn't be as bad i just i don't like it there but anyway that is just a small detail this is the vellum page and this is absolutely beautiful on this planner i love that vellum page then you just have this page to put your name and i did get these stickers from joanne i got two different types and i'm going to use those just to put my name inside i always use white out just to get rid of these lines and then put my name in in stickers i don't know i just like doing that then you have this kind of double quote page and these colors are just so vibrant honestly i love this this double page i just think is beautiful i feel like i'm somehow going to have to take this out when i'm done with the planner and use it for some reason i don't know what maybe use it as like a backing page of something in a scrapbook i don't know it's just so nice then you have your calendar here running from july 2023 so that's when this planner begins and this goes up to december 2024 i often use little sticky dots or i just circle the dates for when i'm going to be traveling that's what i usually use this page for then you have this one that has the 12 boxes. Some people put a sticker or write the months at the top of these and use it for goals or for tracking certain things. You can really use this however you want. Then it goes into the actual month. So this is July and you have your monthly calendar there and it does have a bit of the design going across the top. Then you have a notes page and this dashboard page. I do really like this. I tend to use this as like a master to-do list for that month, so all of the main things I need to do, and then I will put them into the actual days depending when I've decided to do certain things. This I usually use to put people's birthdays and this is really good to use as a habit tracker at the bottom. And then you go into the weekly layout. And as I was saying, this is kind of the classic Erin Condren design. Some people use this for morning, afternoon, evening. Other people maybe use the boxes for different purposes. So you might have work, home and general and then you have your to do's in those boxes. You can really use this however you want. I think this time I'm going to do something like that. So I'm going to have one box for my Disney and Detail channel, one box for my Victoria and Detail channel and then another box for anything else. And then this bottom bit here, I normally use for meal planning and write down what I'm gonna be making for dinner in there. You also have some notes down the side. You have the calendar at the top there. So I just think this layout is gonna work so much better for me and it goes by the color. So as you can see, you've got the end of June here and then it goes into the different color for July and then that carries on for the whole month. I just think Erin Condren planners have the most vibrant colors. They are so beautiful. And this page is always like a cardstock page and the paper has improved with Erin Condren so much over the years. And this paper they use at the moment is such good quality it really really is the best paper that they've ever had in these planners you can write on it really easily it doesn't bleed through it's just really great then you have a notes section and it has plenty of lined pages and it just has lined which i really like i don't like plain pages or dot grid or anything i much prefer lined then you have this page which tells you all of the different observances so they don't put every single one into the planner you can just look through this list and add in any that you want to add they also have this contact page. I do sometimes write people's addresses on there. Then you have a forward planning calendar. So this goes from January 2025 all the way to December 2025. I can't believe I'm even looking at a calendar for 2025. That seems crazy. And then in the back, you have some stickers. These are really beautiful. I absolutely love these. Then you have these to do this week, cancelled, some little habit trackers and stuff there. Then you have these birthday ones, and I love these this year. The colours are so pretty. And then in the back you have these coloured, I call these appointment stickers. You can kind of put a time on here and then write things in. I don't use these that much, but I do use all of the other ones. And then in the back you have your pocket. This is a really sturdy pocket, so I usually just keep stickers and stuff in there. 
and then in the back you just have another dashboard page you can use wet or dry erase pens on these and that's it so I'm really pleased with this I'm so happy I've gone back to the vertical layout I'll obviously be kind of setting up the planner perhaps I'll show you that in an upcoming vlog and when I said I had two books to bring back, it's because I also got one of the notebooks. I love this palm design. I did get it personalized and just put Victoria in detail on there. And inside it just has this same kind of dashboard page. And then I got the productivity one. So all of the pages look like this. So it's just a normal lined page, but then this page is lined on part of it. And then you've also got a list section with little check boxes on. And that continues all the way through and the color just changes slightly on the pages. I just wanted to get a kind of catch-all notebook, if that makes sense. I wanted one notebook to write down everything, just anything important, lists, budgeting, all of those kind of things. And I did get these to go along with this planner, which are little tabs. They're kind of like the faux, like vegan leather look. I don't know if you can see that. And these have different categories. So you've got important, goals, notes, work, budget, personal... So I thought these would be perfect to use to make little sections in my notebook. And I thought they were quite nice in these pastel colours with this cover. So I'm going to put this together in the different sections and then I'll just have this to write down all my important stuff in one place. And then my planner is more just for my scheduling and my day-to-day -day stuff. I forgot to mention it does still come with some little compliment cards in there. And I think it's got some 20% off vouchers in there as well. And I did also get a pack of these new snap-in pocket dashboards. Let me just get this open. And these come as a set of three. You can snap them into the planner, as you can see there. And they have different um, tabs at the top. So if you wanted to use all three, the tabs are kind of spaced out, if that makes sense. And these actually have a pocket. So in these pockets you could put anything you want if you get given invitations to things, you could put photos in there if you wanted, you could store receipts in there, I'm definitely going to use one of those for that purpose and it's got the pocket on both sides so you can use both sides of these. So I thought that was a really good idea, I've been waiting for them to bring out something like this with pockets that you can snap into the planner in different places. I also got the new washi tape that matches this cover. So I'll show you in another vlog what it looks like when it's actually in the planner. And I did also pick up this. It's a little box to stand on my desk and it has various different sticky notes in it. Really loved this for my desk. It'll be the perfect size because it's quite slim and I did just want something to do quick jotting down kind of notes if that makes any sense so that will be perfect and that's everything I got so like I said in upcoming vlogs you'll probably see a lot more of this I'll show you a little bit of the setup of the planner maybe what I've done with the notebook but I just wanted to give you a quick look at what I got in this particular order Good morning, it is the next day now and I thought I would just come on to wrap up this vlog. I realised I filmed the planner and everything but I didn't actually wrap up that day so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you are excited for more Disney World vlogs coming up over on my other channel. Like I said, very unexpected trip. I cannot wait to get on this trip and experience some of the things that they have planned for us and share all of that with you guys. And don't forget to check out the HelloFresh offer if you haven't already. I will put the QR code up here and it's 60% off your first vlog. 25% off for two months plus free gifts so be sure to check that out you can either use my code detail60 click the link in the description or use the QR code thank you guys so much as always for taking the time out of your day to watch this vlog I'll be back with more vlogs as soon as I'm back from the Florida trip and it is quite a short one so it won't be long before I will have another vlog up on this channel I hope you're all well and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye